We're live. We are live. Welcome to Brooklyn Live. Nick Arrojo, Corinne, Jennifer. Fiona's in the chair, and the cut that you are looking at right now is the first of today's double header. Because what we're doing today is we're doing a his and hers. So right now, I am going to say good morning. Good morning, everybody. My name's Nick. Good morning. And uh, we're fresh back from Orlando Premiere, where we had a fantastic time with our trade booth and uh, with our main stage show and sharing our inspiration. And uh, we have classrooms and American Wave certification. And straight back to New York and straight into work. And here we are. Welcome to Brooklyn Life. I am here with, this is the lovely... Hi, Fiona. Fiona. She's How one of our you? young color assistants. She's training. And then, uh, oh, who do we have here? <laughs> yes, you know who that is. It's Corinne <laughs> Dina. <laughs> and then, di sorry. How do you say it? Dinan. Yes. Like I'm out and today. over here... We have our Jennifer, she's here to help us on our double header. And it says, uh, <laughs> good morning, my hair brother. Hello, Sean Measure. Amanda, good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, we're going to have some fun today. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm heavily medicated. Oh, God. <laughs> so, straight edge razor. Rotate the razor. 270 degrees. V for victory. Place the razor in your hand. The tang here, the scallop, sits right in the base of the finger. Rotate it so it's a straight line. And now what we are doing is we are cutting in a straight line. With Fiona's head lightly dipped, we are using what we call the flat of the blade. And this is the kind of texture that we're creating. A little bit of softness, a soft, diffused, slightly open blade. So a simple technique, uh, which is made simple through the razor, but again, it's all about control and feel. So clean sections. Your sections are parallel to the cutting line. Come all the way down, look for the guide on the inside. It's right there. You look for the guide on the inside, and once you see the guide, then you know, and then I'm going to start to apply the blade into the hair, and I'm opening the blade just a little bit more, and you can see the level of texture and the cleanness of line, although be a slightly soft, diffused line. I'm going to continue on now. We're over-directing this hair back, so it's going to get lightly longer towards the front. We're using what we call a flat panel of the blade. I'm keeping my sections relatively skinny because Fiona has got a lot of hair. So we keep our sections nice and skinny. It's the craftsmanship of the line that's important. Now, the picture that she's shown us had some texture to it. So we're going to encourage a little texture in the hair as we cut. So we'll see what happens. And when you soften out the ends, that really helps. And we always work, it, when you soften out the ends, it really helps to encourage texture while still retaining body. Notice we're going right to the base of the section. Fine teeth of the comb. This is the Erosio razor comb. It's a great comb and we've got another shipment coming all the way from Japan. It's on the boat right now. Remember that Orojo has uh, an amazing pro site for all of your scissors, razors, clips, combs, brushes, dryers, irons, diffusers, you name it. We've curated some of the coolest tools and all of the tools that we like. And we are built Orojo Pro and it's our online store for anybody looking to buy some professional grade tools. The code today, we have a code every week when you join us on Brooklyn Live, live from our Brooklyn location here in New York City. We always, uh, I'd say about 90% of the time, always do a code. Today's code is Red Pants. 
because I got red pants on. <laughs> so red pants get you a 10% discount code. The code is live for 48 hours. So if you're looking and you missed us at the show, or we run out of something that you wanted because we did have a sellout on a lot of stuff, which was great for the business, great for the brand, great for the team to see too. So I'm um, just continuing on. So this is a simple technique because it's repetitive. The only thing that's different is the blade is moving <laughs> differently every time. The higher up I get, the more I actually open the blade. So I'm actually letting less, I'm letting the hair get lighter and lighter as we move into the, into the top. What are you giggling at, young lady? Um, Jeff Stump asked, are those your drop crotch pants? Ah, no Jeff Stump, I'm saving my drop crotch pants for this weekend where I will be going back to Florida and we're gonna go to the Millennium Experience and we're headlining the show and I will be leaving first thing Saturday morning and, uh, and I will be wearing my drop crotch pants, Jeff, so I'll send you a picture. And uh, it was great hanging out with you. I texted you this morning. Uh, Architects, great salon, Casa Mesa, and Jeff Stump, his buddy Jason, they were there with us in Flowrider, and we had a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to the next time, okay? It was fun. It was fun, says Karim. Um, Amanda Outerbridge said, I don't know how to cut hair without that comb anymore. Well, me neither. <laughs> you take away my tools, and I'm not a happy camper. So this really, and I tell everybody the same thing, not all combs are created equal. Arojo is the curator of two combs. Of course, there are plenty of combs out there, but we have our two favorites. One is for razor cutting, one is for scissor cutting. And, uh, and this comb is a comb bank comb, and the other red comb that we have, pass it to me, Jen. This is the Ceci Bon. This is... So we have two combs, scissor comb, razor comb, arrojo and boss. <laughs> Thank you. So you'll notice we keep our sections consistent, we keep our sections clean, great combing, that's what we're talking about, great tension. Notice how the comb allows the hair to get right into what we call the spine and that creates that beautiful tension that you need. Once you get that beautiful tension, I feel the hair disappear, and then I'm using what we call the flat of the blade to put softness into the hair. So feel free if you're, if you're tuning in for the first time or if you're uh, a regular, like some of our regulars that check in, feel free to get involved, ask questions, we're here for you. Brooklyn Live is brought to you every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a double header. First is we're starting with the gorgeous Fiona here. And second, we've got the maestro, Mr. David Arqueta. <laughs> is that the sign? Am I right there, Dave? Uh, oh, close Arquilla. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's going to be coming in there later. Tough, David. He's an actor and he is a very positive guy. So we're excited to work. Uh, to, to have David in the chair with us today, as we are with Fiona. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of working now. This will be my final section, because we're getting right to just at the, not the top of the head, but right at the crown. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to move into the side. And I'll always move into the side closest to the parting. So the side with the least amount of hair. Great. Um, you're getting a lot of hellos, Nick. Hello, 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 everybody. Some love for your red pants. Um, red, don't forget the code. Red, <laughs> red pants. pants. Uh, Jeff South, Pam Brantley, Shavana Styles. Hey, Jeff Ski. Uh, all saying hello. Uh, Ashley, I'm going to slaughter this last name, so I won't try. So come to Columbia. We want a razor class. Oh, yeah. And I'm curious which Columbia. Well, She's listen, referencing. if you want any classes, you can contact Loretta at erosionyc.com. That's L-O-R-E-T-T-A at erosionyc.com. And you can always request, request classes, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Okay, now I need my favorite product. Is this like a 
stage product? It's, it? it's a stage, what is yes. This? Is this a stage product? Hey. We have stage products I, completely empty. I didn't do that. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> What's going on in this world? Hey, we've now started a stage product, Sphere. No, is that you? Did you do that? No, she says no. <laughs> Ask your Brooklyn crew. <laughs> I'm going to be in touch with my Brooklyn crew. I'm in Brooklyn, so I'm good. Okay, Hydro Mist. That's our magic product. This is our Hydro Mist. You see every week if you're tuning in. A Rojo product. The product of professionals. And uh, it's something that if you're interested in, you can communicate, connect with us, and we can uh, you could potentially carry the product line. From independence right the way through to mega salons, we are thrilled to... Uh, I'm going to talk about a mega salon. It means a big size salon. We're thrilled to connect with everybody. Don't forget, one of the things that I have been saying is, Orojo is going to start the development and the evolution of our art team, which will start the, towards the end of this year. Uh, if you are going to be on our artistic team, on our art team, yeah, um, and we're looking for young hairdressers, youthful, a uh, few years experience, what's going to happen is, our art team is going to be part of our educational process for 2018. But you do have to carry a Rojo product. So get connected to the brand if you're interested. More information to follow. First section was relatively thick because the hair is always finer to the front. Second section, look, practice really great combing. Look at how clean you make everything. These great Rojo clips hold the hair. They have so much strength. Yeah, super strength, they come, and you'll notice I'm following the line right the way through. So it is gonna get longer to the front. We wanna drop it longer to the front, as we like to say, drop it like it's hot. And then we're gonna allow it to get longer so that it gives just that little bit more edge and the illusion of more length around the collarbone and around the features of the face. Nice. Um, Derek Maldonado says, hi. Hello, Mr. D-Spot, the Vin Diesel of hairdressing. <laughs> Michael Angelo Razzo says, hi. Hey, Michelangelo. From, uh, How are you? Michelangelo in Florida. Nice to hear from you. Thanks for checking us out. Maria Havener says, another beautiful Thursday with the master. The maestro, thank you. And uh, Kelly Lee is excited about Hydromist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. So, comb right from the base, keep everything nice and clean, nice and tight, cut air before you cut hair, get the motor running, notice how I'm really opening that blade up. You feel every stroke of the blade has, as it interacts with the hair. You feel every stroke. And uh, move around the chair so that, uh, you know, this is everybody's stage, is the area around the chair. So that's everybody's stage. You can see what we're taking out. Look at what's coming off here and look at the difference at the bottom, where it's actually getting longer towards the front. So we can see that length. Now we're gonna layer it a little, so that's gonna shorten the front up a little. But again, we wanna encourage some softness, a little bit of beachiness into the hair. The good news is, I have amazing hair products that are going to be my best friend. They're going to help me. Now, when you're cutting the back here, you don't want to comb it to the side. You want to comb this back. Okay? You notice I'm combing everything back. All the way down, open razor technique. Everything nice and tight from the base. Nice and soft. So this is a one length line. Now this is a perfect haircut to really hone your hairdressing craft with a razor. Because the technique itself is simple in its sectioning pattern. And the only thing that you'd be learning or you'd be practicing here is the blade interaction. Which I think is what, when people start using the razor for the very first time, or when they're learning, and it takes years to, uh, or it just takes a lot of haircuts to really get completely used to it. It's just like skiing. Yeah, you become a great skier, 
and uh, you can go down the mountain, the double black, diamond, and then all of a sudden you go to a snowboard, now you've got to learn again. And every time you get on that snowboard, you're going to get better and better and better. Same thing with the razor. One side is complete, you can see. So if you're looking at the length it, you can see how it just drops over the shoulder. So she has that feeling of length right here. We'll be knocking this out, but the first thing, and I can just see this little piece here. Just kind of the short piece right here. So that short piece, this short piece, we're going to kind of connect. And the raise is great for connecting those two little things together too. But what we'll do now is we'll finish the opposite side. So come on a journey to the other side of the chair. <laughs> Nick, uh, I just hobble over. <laughs> this is how I do it. I practice and get my legs moving. Tom Monticello said to you in Fort Lauderdale. Very nice, Tom. Tom was with us. His whole crew, the Visions crew, were with us in Orlando. So thanks to everyone from Visions for helping us. And to Mr. Tom Monticello, I like the picture Instagram that you posted last night. It was fun. Me and you on stage together, buddy. <laughs> And next year we will be teaching classes in Orlan in um, Wellington, Florida, which is a suburb of West Palm, which is where I have a little home too. So uh, expect to hear, see at least four academy classes booked at the Visions Salon in Wellington, which will be our Florida. Uh, that'll be our Florida home for academy classes, so we're excited for that. It means that you can get a Rojo education all the way down in South Florida. Nick, um, Stephen Francis Martin said, are you not accepting old geezers on the team? Yeah, we're accepting anybody. Yeah, but there's no age limit. Yeah? No <laughs> age limit whatsoever. But what we do have is we do have what we call our style council. And our style council are going to be part of the, the team lead for the art team. So the way in which it's going to work, and again, it's still like in a, in a theory process. I mean, the nice thing about being an independent owner of a business like mine, of the hair business, is we can kind of, I'm making, I'm evolving the idea the more I think it through. So as it stands today, I'll let everybody know how, it, how I'm thinking. And what I'm thinking is, is by the end of the year, before the end of this year, we want to have a training session here in New York where we're going to pre-select about 25 people to, uh, there'll be an application process. We're going to select 25 people to come to New York and we're going to give them some education. Not just myself, not just my team, but also our um, style council. So our style council are the people that have been on my platform for many years, Stephen Adams, Derek Maldonado, uh, Alex Iano from Chicago. So that's just a sampling of it. So what's going to happen is we're going to train uh, approximately 25 people and introduce them into our artistic team. We want to build this team to about 200 people from all over the country. So the idea is, is next year when we do trade shows, we'll have a lot of our artistic team working the trade show floor. We'll be able to offer education in all parts and all corners of America. American Wave Certification, which is our texture service, razoring classes, hair painting classes, you name it, our artistic team's going to do it. Plus, we're also going to have members of our own team, such as Corinne, who's behind the camera, also involved in helping to develop, evolve, and create a small little Arojo army <laughs> because I know there's a lot of young people at all ages, of all ages, wanting to do more than just work behind the chair. Of course, I love working behind the chair, but it's great to be able to have a wider reach. So it's in its evolutionary stage. I've given you kind of the idea that's in my head, and it will be starting to work, we'll start to work on the detail no later than the end of July and then it will be put out into the world and the sooner you kind of make yourself connected. I met a wonderful woman when I was in Texas, Jackie. It's Jackie. She wants to be a platform artist. She mm -hmm. wants to be
connected, and she was very talented, and that's the energy that we uh, that I'm always searching for and seeking. Nick, um, Tony Real said so exciting, and uh, Derek Mosier asked, "Where do you sign up for this?" Well, like I say, Derek, it's just we're just beginning on the journey, so just stay connected. I know Derek and and Tony will love you too, baby. You know, mm-hmm. but um. Well, it's just at the beginning phases, guys. Trust me, stay connected to us. We are now, what, June the 7th, is it? Yeah. June the 7th. By the end of July, my intention is to have uh, the application process open, and let's see how that goes. By the end of the year, I want to have a training session before Thanksgiving in New York City. And then we'll probably be bringing some of those artists, some of the artistic team will be present with us for Long Beach when we do the Long Beach show. And we're so busy right now. This past weekend, I had hairdressers in different parts of the country, my own team. We were in Albuquerque. Uh, we had classes in New York, we're in Boston, New Hampshire, and of course we were in Florida. So it's a lot to manage, and we have a great network of people that we have worked with for a long time. A lot of them working at some of our ambassador salons, and we want to develop and evolve that. So it's going to be the next step. I'm getting very aggressive with my growth potential, and uh, we're excited. And again, we're excited to be down in Florida this weekend for the Millennium Experience. We'll be presenting, we'll have a trade booth there. We'd love anybody that's attending to come and say hi, say hello to us, come and see us at Millennium. Are you gonna see uh, STX, our friends there? No, it's different, yeah. I, think it's a different, I was gonna say it's a different show. Yeah, different software. Different that's software. Different industry, yeah? You know, even though we may compete with each other, we still are respectful of each other. So that's pretty good. It's a lot of love. Love and love. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so, again, if you're just joining us, um, we have a 10% off promo code based on Nick's pants. You know the code is. It's red pants. Red pants. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Head to erosiopro.com and you'll get 10% off your purchase when you enter the code. It's body hours. So we're finishing up the length. As we finish up the length, we're just gonna have a look. How are you feeling, young lady? Nice and light. So now it's time, so you'll see, she's got this little piece here. We've allowed that hair to dry. I'm gonna come through this side, and uh, we'll pick up our hydro mist. Now notice you can hold the hydro mist and the comb, and the razor. Just lighten this up. Now it's time for me to scoop it around. Spray. Keep spraying the hydro mist. You can't over spray the hydro mist. That almost fell over. Oh God. You cannot over spray the hydro mist, period. It's lightweight conditioning at Sheen. Nick, um, Derek Mosher's asking, any updates on the Erosio social contest that you mentioned last week? Oh, yes, Derek. I do have the outline and the brief, and we just got agreement from, uh, I think, four of the five judges. When I get back, it's going to be called Erosio Hot Shot. And here's the update. It'll be, com- it'll be judged. It's going to be on a Rojo Social, so the competition is a photo competition on a Rojo Social. We will be putting it out. It's called a Rojo Hot Shot. We are going to be looking for two winners and two runners up, or two second place winners in two categories. Cat- category one is a haircut style and finish, styled and finished using an a Rojo product or two. So that's that that's competition number one. And competition number two is going to be an American wave competition. That will be a before and after. And it will be based on an Erosio American wave texture service. Uh, the competition prize is going to be an all expenses paid trip 
to New York City for the International Beauty Show where the winners will be working on our booth, on our platform, and they'll be working with us. So they'll get airfare, accommodation, and they'll be working with the show and they'll get to hang out with us and have a fun time. Ooh. That's going to go live. I would guess, Eric, it'll be live by no later than next week. Um, we have judges that are going to be pre-judging. By the time we get to the end of September, we're going to have kind of our finalists. And our big show, Expo, which is in October, we are going to show the top five or six in each category and we'll announce the winner live on stage in the Greenwich Village where we're doing the Sunday day portion of our inspirational Expo event. Okay, so let's just dial you into what we're doing right here. So you'll notice we take sections diagonal back nice and clean. Take the clip, just place the clip right in. I'm just gonna comb this hair folding down. And we're just trying to not over direct this hair too far forward. The more forward you bring it, the more layers you'll get. With a very open blade, we're just gonna lightly feather through and soften out the ends of the hair. And then comb it with the wide teeth of the comb just to see how that hair lifts. And you're gonna work until you run out of hair. Nick, Sean Major said, I can't decide if I wanna stare at the razor work or the red pants. <laughs> Are you gonna wear the pants for 48 hours? I am not gonna like wear the, the red pants <laughs> like for 48 this. hours, no. But I am gonna be, I uh, have to coat for 48 hours. <laughs> And we do have red razors, so if you want, combine the both. Get a red razor using the red pants. Okay. Now we're at the top of the head, my sections are going to pivot. This is a classic Rojo technique. This is my sectioning pattern. What happens is, is the razor's doing most of the work. And uh, the sectioning pattern is kind of simplistic. And that's what I found when I started razor cutting. When I started razor cutting, I realized that with a scissor, the holding hand has to do everything. What I realized when I started working with a razor, it's the razor hand that does a lot of the work. Now this is, we call this technique planing. I'm using the full plane of the blade. Look at, using the full plane of the blade. Very advanced. I'm just kind of shaving the top surface. So that's one side complete. And you can see how it just gets a little shorter. Come in, come and have a look. See how it gets a little shorter. Stand behind it, babe. Go around there, you'll see. It gets a little shorter than the front side because we're knocking out that corner. I'll go across the front. I'll hobble over. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm walking this way, it's not because my underpants are too tight. <laughs> it is because I sprained my ankle. And because I stand for a living, Sprains hurt. I think this angle might be better, Karen. Mm -hmm. You know best. It's all right. We'll swing around. Swing I don't around. think we have Ian with us yet. He would have jumped right on that. Well, that's okay. <laughs> He's over it now. <laughs> so let's calm this down and have a look. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to use the tip of the blade just to soften and lighten just a little right there. Okay, and then we're going to knock into this corner. I can see a little bit of a wiggly wave jumping in right there. So she, I asked Fiona whether her hair was bone straight. She said it wasn't completely perfectly straight, but it's not curly. But, you know, you kind of study the hair, and once you lighten the hair with the razor, it does bring out a little bit of the natural kind of movement in the head. So again, I'm just going to feather through the top or the front just to kind of blend. That's called tipping. That kind of refines our section, refines the length, comb it down and around, and we're just connecting that front from the short pieces just to give it a little bit more of a uh, 
connector and also to give it a little bit more texture because it's going to give it a little bit more texture. Nick, um, Kristen Tran said, I'm just joining. I was looking at your razor class that is a week long. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Okay, we have an Erosio Academy here in New York and we have a week long razor class. It's called Razor Craft. It's a five day class, Sunday through Thursday. It's one of the only classes, if not the only class, that we can't like think to think of it as a certification razoring class. What I mean by that is, you get certified in razor cutting, five days of razor cutting, and it's one of the only classes that we actually book live models. So you start off with some fundamentals as a refresher, you're getting some advanced razor techniques, different teachers daily, so you have a different variation, different inspiration. Towards the end of the class, we do two full days of live models. Live models, and that's when we kind of say that, hey, you, you've got certified in razor cutting. For us, we have a number of different razoring classes. We start off with our famous razor fundamentals class. That's a two-day class. Then we have our razor advanced class. Then we have our scissor, then razor class. And then finally, we have our razor uh, craft class. So that is the five day class, it's called Razor Craft. If you have no razor experience, it's a great class. And if you have some razor experience, it's also an amazing class because you'll study the razor for five full days. By the time you leave the class, we like to say that you're completely certified in Arojo razor cutting. Just using the tip of the blade right there, softening it out. Notice how I comb after each section. At this point, I'm gonna have a little touch and see. And right now, we're starting to think product. Gotta be careful here, I don't want it to get too heavy on this side. Great, she said she's gonna call for the one in July and see if there are openings. Awesome. Yeah, we have classes every week for anybody that's checking out. Everything's on erosionyc.com. Go to our academy page on the website. You'll find out all about our classes. Nick, I would love to see you here in New York. We have um, an American Wave certification in Richmond, Virginia this weekend, right? Our American Wave certification in Richmond, Virginia. American Wave is our, is our uh, service for bringing back curl wave and texture. Amazing service. Uh, it used to be called a perm. It's now called American Wave. The perm is for your grandmother and American <laughs> Wave is for, you know, it's for your girlfriend. Sean Major said, even if you have a lot of razor experience, it's a great class. When do you stop learning? Never. Ever. Notice how I like to comb this all the time with the white teeth. Because you want to kind of see what's being encouraged. So my section's now from the top of the head rotating round. Jennifer? Just bring over my uh, Erosio VMAC shears, please. A little bit of, we're gonna, we're gonna be scissor cutting with David in a moment, which is gonna be exciting, but I'm gonna scissor cut just a little, right at the end here. Product-wise, I would like to have wave mist, and I'd also like to have the, uh, Styling cream, a Rojo style cream. So also, Jen, let's pull those together for me, please. Okay, so the cut's 98% done. The final stage is now. It's just for hop along, Cassidy. So mm -hmm. hop along. When you're working in the salon, keep your clients clean. I, I say this all the time, my, my apprentices never listen. Don't put the blow dryer on the cape. Oh, there's a thing called gravity. <laughs> gravity allows the hair to fall. These are Arojo capes, available on ArojoPro.com. You see, I've got a little Arojo here, you can get them in black or, or red. And just shake the hair. Don't put the dryer on, because then the hair goes everywhere. It goes all over the face, it's horrible. Yeah? 
Again, the salon etiquette is something that is crucial to your success. Crucial. And I talk about this all the time to my team. You've got to be really good with your salon etiquette. You've got to understand, you've got to watch, you've got to listen, you've got to focus. It's an experience, guys. One of the things in life, you talk about professional uh, services, the experience is critical to the retention of your clientele. You, know, you work in a salon like mine, uh, what you do is critical to everybody else's success. Because guess what business we're in? What business are we in, Corinne? We do hair. Nope. The re <laughs> <laughs> We're in I'm the just reputation kidding, business, baby. <laughs> yes, and we do do hair, so you are right. Reputation business. <laughs> and no matter who's doing the hair, the hair's being done in a rojo. Or if you're working in a salon, it's being done in your salon. And you've got to think about the effect that you have on the reputation of your co-workers. You got it? She got it. I think you're also in the red pants business. <laughs> Yes. Next week, maybe we'll have the code Captain Underpants. That means they have to um, well. As long as we don't need to see them. <laughs> so again, just looking at what was done. I'm just going to clean up just the edges, little point cutting. I don't cut across the hair like this, straight in. Exactly the same direction as the hair coming out. Straight up, straight in. Let me begin. Jump around, jump around. Now Fiona has a lot of hair. A lot more than it appeared at, be at the beginning. But that's good. In the final section you'll see how much volume we're getting. So the picture that she chose really was perfect. She's got the perfect hair for it. Just looking at that, nothing there. Coming through here, nothing there, nothing there. Great. Okay, style and cream. Style and cream. Style and cream is an erosion product. Style and cream has uh, it's like a, a liquid gel, it has some hold. Okay, has some, let me get that. <laughs> got it, got it, take it. Styling cream, I'll show you styling cream. Let's see it. Okay, it's a great product, this product's gonna put support, whole texture in the hair. Do all product knowledge in front of the client. When this cream comes out, this cream has a little bit of hold to it. Rub it into the hands, evenly distributed, right here, turns into a liquid. The nice thing about the styling cream, it's got support. I like to think of styling cream as a foundation. Work it right the way in. So work it right the way into the hair. Mainly through the middle ends and ends, to be honest with you. It doesn't need to be too deep into the root. It's got some hold to it, but it doesn't have stiffness. And now what we'll do is we'll go with our amazing Wave a Rooney spray, it's called Wave Mist. And uh, it's got a great trigger. And look at this. We give the hair a really good dousing. Not the face, just the hair. Honestly, think about when you're applying product, make it special. Yeah, the clients, you know, don't start spraying products willy nilly. And now what we'll do is uh, we're going to send her off to be blow dried. Before I do that, Jane, quick, come here. Quick. Speed, speed, speed. <laughs> just going to grab it. I like to just encourage it. So just a little bit of twist. Rock and roll. She's going to use the Erosio diffuser made by YS Park. And uh, that's going to help us get all the moisture out of the hair. She's going to dry the hair bone dry to the bone baby <laughs> like it to the bone I'll just do my little magic walk <laughs> shit okay so we're twisting it away from the face this 
locks the hair in and just encourages that little bit of natural texture. The wave miss is an activator for wave. And um, it's going to help with that kind of beachy, tousled, soft, sexy look that she's desiring. Okay, Jen, pass me, show me the diffuse. It's one right over there. Let everybody see it. Tell everybody why it's good. It's also got this titanium mesh that really does not allow the hair to have, it, it prevents the blow, but enables the heat. Okay, what we are going to do. There you go. Oh, she dressed perfectly. Oh, I like this. She's got like a little like milky skin here, <laughs> so against the hairstyle. Perfect. What we'll do is we'll send her over to Dave's chair. And uh, we'll see you in a bit, we'll okay, gorgeous. And now, talking of gorgeous, let's bring in the man with the plan. How are you? Uh, David R. Killer, how are you, buddy? Well. Is it David the Killer? The uh, R. Killer? David R. Quilla. Oh, R. Quilla, Wait, sorry. They say it's my English accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you get yeah. a special cape, you've got the red. A I do. Show. You it's, see that? It goes better, I think. Are you an actor and a model? I am. What else, anything else? Um, I'm a human being. You see, yes. <laughs> he's a man, baby. I've seen those primarily. Uh, sometimes I'll host events, yeah. actually, at night. Yeah. Are you from New York? Uh, no, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, the Midwest. Shout out to the Midwest. But what about your hair? What are we going to do with this today? Um, well, I want to I wanna definitely take some off. So, it gets a little bulky up here. Uh -huh. uh, there's a lot going on. Okay. It's, um, it's naturally curly, as you can see, so I can do a lot with it. When it gets when it gets too long, it's like hard for me to manage, kind of. And um, I think keep the sides, uh, make them a little tighter, but uh, kind of keep them soft. And so I like to have versatility because as an actor, I play a lot of different characters. So if I need to make it look kind of businessman or European, I can do that. Or European. European. Uh, my the, my roots back back in the day, um, and uh, and or if I need to, you know, have it be a little crazy, you know, kind of. <laughs> kind of back there. Okay. Here's a question for you. When yeah. was it cut last? It was cut April, the beginning of April. So we're two months away from the right. beginning of April. Yeah. So the hair's grown probably about an inch, inch and a half. Inch and a half. Uh, so what, what we're going to create today, and does it, does it push it more one way than the other, or every way? Uh, every way? Uh, I guess not that way as much. I'll push it this way, right. and, then, and then back. This way and back. So yeah. I always like to start on the side that it pushes, if any, mm -hmm. pushes away from. So we'll start through here. We've rinsed, we've shampooed the hair with our daily shampoo, mm -hmm. and now we're using some hydro mix. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a square layer, slightly graduated. We're going to take a little bit more of the bulk away from the back, and then we're going to square the top in, keep some length, and then we'll feather it, just to take out some of that bulk. Listen to the key words. Guys, have you noticed? Guys are very specific. I think there's two types of guy. There's the guy that goes to the barber shop, that for him it's purely functional, and there's the guy that comes to the salon or the studio those are the guys that are very hair specific. So we're living in Man Central right now. What I mean by that is, um, it's a great business. The barbering trend is massive. Uh, it's a sophisticated business. Barbering is getting more sophisticated. We're into it. And we're seeing that when I talk about this uh, kind of male business, there is a major market for us. So we're gonna execute David's hair really well. Corinne, you come around the side mm -hmm. and let's start. So when you cut it men's hair, one of the key things is you want to keep it square. Now some of the key things that you're going to look at is you're going to listen to what are you saying. So what was he saying? And Corinne, you're going to have to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to run over there, get me my red comb, I'll hold. So you'll notice what we're doing right here is 
where the head rounds through, which is right here. So this is relatively flat. And then this kind of rounds away and then that's the top. I like to call this area the transition. So to begin with, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work through from the front into the back. So I'm gonna zone this out. We're gonna work on this whole panel. Because this whole panel is what we call the side. You've got to be careful, don't let this hair take control. Don't let it take control of you around the face here. You've got to make sure you get this hair in nice and tight. He doesn't want it so classically clean, but it's not a cut for two months. And we want to make sure that we get in there and create some clarity. So this is a clarity piece right here. We're going to go finger width. We're going to sit this hair in and uh, we're going to sit this hair in but we're not going to cut it super clean around the ear but we are going to keep it nice and tight around the temple area because this is where the head starts to expand make this nice and tight because this is the first area but when this area around the temple gets heavy it becomes what I like to refer to as too, too rounded or a little baggy and you want to tighten that up because that adds structure to the face. So that's two sections in. Now let's just comb those two sections forward. Now resting we're going to tighten up. I'm working with my B-Max shear. It's a five inch scissor. Great for short hair like this because it's very delicate and very precise. So you can see how nice and clean we've got it. And it's right around the area that's gonna make the shape way better. Keep your sections nice, clean, over directing the hair forward, following the guide. Comb like you were combing when I was razor cutting. Comb the hair. Notice here how my fingers are not in tight because I want to keep just that little bit of softness around the ear to begin with. And I am slightly over directing the hair forward. So what I mean by that is the hair is being dragged forward so I can build into a little bit of weight. The razor, the razor comb is bigger than the scissor comb. The scissor comb is slightly smaller. It means that I'm more able to uh, get into smaller places, so a little bit more precise. I've taken five sections. A lot of people will just take two sections. I took five sections on this area. This is the precision that we're looking for when we're working with our male clients. Now remember, he's an actor, he's a model. He's got to look good. He wants a haircut that's controlled, that's malleable so it can be different things. He doesn't want to look like he's just come from the barber shop, but he wants to have that control in his hair so that it can feel groomed and maintained so that when he goes out on his work, they're not having to chop away at it every five minutes. So notice how I've kept my sections consistent. You can slowly see, I don't know how easy it is to see, but we're building up length. So a little shorter here, a little longer right here. Shorter here, longer here. So we're building up length. At this stage, I'm gonna try and now start pulling the hair out at 90 to stay consistent and maintain, maintain the same length. There's your guide. Only a thumb that does the work. Nick, you're getting a lot of nice comments. Um, Pam Brantley said, I'm excited to see a man cut. A man cut, baby. Um, Shivana Style said, I love your perspective on the barbering business. Um, nice. Cody Farrow said, awesome as usual. Have to watch the rest later. Good. Okay, just let me jump in. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Because right now we're at a tough spot behind the ear. The ears bend, thankfully. Some people's bend less. Ava's bend quite a bit, which is nice. He's got nice soft ears. Get right behind. Point to the finger. And now as we get into this hairline, 
what I'd like to do is I'd like to direct my fingers in and follow the hairline just a little. This is a critical touch point for the cup. What I mean by that when I say a, tri a critical touch point for the cup, this is an area where the hairline is. So we're going to take just a little bit more care and attention. And remember, we're working on our first zone, which is the side zone. Anything else, Corinne? I'm going to carry on. Uh, yeah. Cody was just saying, have fun in Richmond. I think it means with the American wave, but uh, you'll be in Florida. And um, Arojo Cosmetology said, we look forward to starting our barbering program September 18th, and enrollment is open until the end of June. Great. So that's exciting. It's open until the end of June? What does that mean? Enro enrollment's open all the time. Oh, she said enrollment's opening by the end of June. Ah, I think ah. I read it wrong. Yeah, our barbering program, David, is mm -hmm. uh, completely different to our cosmetology. It's a brand new program, and we're starting the program in September. So the Erosio brand is going into the barber zone, and what that means is, from 2018, we're ready to hear about our first barber shop. I'm going to open the Erosio barber shop. So not only are we going to be uh, training the future of barbers, we're actually going to be opening one. So we'll be giving those the future of the future of barbering. We're going to give uh, jobs to. Nice. Uh, Cindy Booth says hi. David Bray Cindy. says uh, hey, good morning, David Nick. Bray. I'm liking How are you the cut. Florida, David? Um, Christina Lasanu said, "Do you ever use clippers?" I do use clippers. Of course, with our bar room, we'll be using more clipper work. I love clippers. I used to be, when I was in England, I used to do the hair for some pretty famous uh, pop stars. I used to use the clippers on those guys. There was the, the original fade was a guy by uh, the name, his name was Bernard Sumner. He was the lead singer for, the, for uh, New Order. He used to come to the salon at Vidal Sassoon. I used to clip his hair. I loved it. In fact, barbering was my favorite thing to do when I was a young hairdresser. Ah, the truth comes out. Well, <laughs> you can't handle it. <laughs> um, Shivana Styles asked, are you teaching the barbering program, Nick? Well, I can't do everything, Shivana Styles, <laughs> but you better believe I'm excited to get involved because uh, and I love doing hair, and I'll be excited to do more and more men's hair for sure. Mm -hmm. And Nick, you'll be teaching in uh, our next starting class at the Cosmetology School, right? Yes. From so June 19th. I've got a class starting on June 19th, Arojo Cosmetology. We're reopening our original school, so Arojo will now have two cosmetology schools, one in Tribeca and one in Soho. And the Soho class, I will be present once you get through the theory, I'll be present teaching practical. I'm looking forward to it. If you know anybody that's interested, we have spaces, definitely check out Arojo Cosmo. It's not federally funded, it's Arojo funded. I'm the bank, so I can help you if you want to come to school. Mm -hmm. Dial into the cup. Remember where we started the cup. I said we're going to work on the side panel. We load the round of the head, and this is the side panel. One more section. Let's look at this. One more section, because now we're going to go from transition from the back, from the side, into the back. So when I put my comb flat, you can see. When I put my comb flat, you can see. Starting to round away here. Starting to round away here. So when we come to this arena right here, I'm over there at this. Across. To me. So I'm not coming this out at 90. And this is going to be the beginning of the transition into the back. Keep the sections nice and clean. Use your thumb, fine teeth with the comb. Place, place. And then if I've nibbled my fingers directing in to the nape, because David's got, you know, like most guys, he's got a hairline that kicks, jumps, flicks, and we've got to make it look soft, masculine, but not square looking. 
we don't tend to really do lines because we think that lines will be look a little bit too um doesn't look as sophisticated. Yeah? And he wants to look sophisticated. Okay, so now at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we like to call this a square shoe. So for a female cut, it's a hard shoe. This is a real square line. So we've got a square cut. So I'm square shoeing this across. Come this out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go from the side. We're going to transition into the back. And this is how we do it. <laughs> Boys in the hood, is that right? Who's saying that song? Montel, baby. <laughs> there you go. I, I only find you the best, Nick. I can only find you the best. <laughs> so now it's important that I cut across the back that I don't over direct the hair. If I over direct the hair, we're going to build up weight in the center back. You don't want to make it baggy through the back. And notice how I'm pointing my fingers into the hairline and using just the tips of my fingers just to get right into the hairline. Notice how my thumb does not protrude into the finger hole. It really sits on the edge. You know, so I was, I was in Florida and I was showing a guy this scissor and he says, oh, the, the hole's too small. And I said, well, the reality is, is I never even put my finger in the hole. And because if you put your finger in the hole, it restricts your field of vision. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the chair down. It's going to be more comfortable for me because I'm working over the head, across the head. Nick, Shavana Styles is asking, is that section straight out at 90 degrees? This is right now. It's coming straight out to me. Straight out to me. So my fingers... See? My fingers cover the section. So you stand where I see, I can't even see the section because my fingers are right in front of it. And that's how you know. If you stood right behind it and you can see the section, then you're not straight out at 90. But if you stand right behind it and you can't see the section, like now, you know that you're staying consistent. And notice how I comb it after each cut. Why do I comb it after each cut? I comb it after each cut so I can see what the shape is actually looking like. You've got to keep your sections nice and skinny. When your sections are skinny, it's called precision-based cutting. Yeah, in Erosio, we have the same price for every type of sex. That doesn't mean like, se we're not selling sex. But whether you're a male or a female, you're looking for a haircut, whatever the price is. Corinne, how much you charge? $100. Corinne charges $100 for a haircut. We don't care what your gender is, it's $100 for the cut. You're buying the appointment. A lot of salons in America have different pricing for their clients of different genders. In Erosia, we have a non-gender specific price. And I think it works. And I wish more people would adapt that policy because look at the detail that I'm having to execute here on David's head. This is more sections than I did on my previous cut. He doesn't have the same density of hair. We're not going to be having the electric come out of the power because there's going to be very little blow drying here but it's a precision-based haircut with a lot of detail. So why should it not be the same price as the female? It should, and it is, but not for Dave. Dave gets it for free, because he's Mr. Apple. Quilla. Quilla. Are you Spanish? Uh, Italian. Italiano. Yeah. Whereabouts? Mm -hmm. um, what is the village called Aquila? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Nice. Sounds like the owned the town, a village if it's Aquila. There's a story there, I'm sure. <laughs> you have to tune in next week. Next week, I want to hear this story. For fireside stories with Mr. Aquila.
<laughs> but you know what we got in common? Hmm. My real name's David. You're kidding. No. Do you go by Nick? Nick's your middle name? No, Nick's my made up name. Oh, uh, really? Yep. You changed it. I had to, because in hairdressing, you can't have two, two people with the same name. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'd say about 20% of my staff have different names than their real names. Is she good? Yeah. She can just hang out for us if that's okay. Yeah. We'll bring her back at the end. So, in your first job, you had to change your name. Vidal Sassoon, they no, said, no, what's no. your name? Uh -huh. I said, my name's David. They said, no, it's not. I said, what do you mean? It has been for the last 16 years. <laughs> they said, no, it's not anymore. They said, well, what do you want to be called? I said, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne. So I was Wayne for three hours. And then there was another Wayne. No. Oh. Every time I heard the word Wayne, I was thinking, that's a weird name. Who's Wayne? <laughs> and I realized it was me. And I realized that I could not connect to Wayne so they, I said, please, please, sir, can I change my name again? They said, you've got a second to change the name. <laughs> they said, what is it? I said, Nick. They said, great. And that was that. Fast forward 35 years in here. I'm Nick. You can be Dave. All right. The rest is history. The rest is history. started cutting at 16. Mm. Yeah. I had two good legs. <laughs> and now, well, now you have two damaged. Oh, they're, they're less good. Less good. <laughs> okay, let's dial back in. Me and Dave could check for a while. <laughs> let's dial back in because now I'm starting to move over the center back. Here's the top of his spine right here. So we're about a quarter of an inch past the top of his spine. So now we're probably going to be stopping soon. Uh, but there's a couple of things I want to dial everybody in on. Let's just finish this section and I'll do a little recap on what we're doing. Notice the, the line of my cutting. Notice the position of his head. It's upright when I'm cutting that. Notice as I come down, I'm going to dip. I'm going to be in control of him, yeah, because I have to be. So right here, the head's still up. Follow the nice clean line. And then I'm going to dip the head down just a little. He just tucks his chin in because I need to get into the nape. Just clean that up. Now, let's come over here, Corinne. Let's have a look and see what we got. Come around here. In fact, you, you've, <laughs> you've, got, run you've, out got battery. A, you've got a short, you've got a short cable. <laughs> okay. Let's just have a look right here. Okay. So you'll see when you're looking... You want to see the way that the hair kind of falls. Take that camera and spin him around because you've got a short cable. Don't move too far. <laughs> All right. So you comb it. You comb it down. You have a look. You want to see. So we're working to a little bit longer than finger length. We're nibbling it in. If I spin him around here, you can see the shape that we're creating. A little bit of softness, but a little bit of tightness in here. I'm going to repeat on this side. It's going to be easier for you, Corinne, because your short cord. It's nice. technically the long one. <laughs> I paid extra for it. Uh, Nick, we've got some questions and comments coming in. Um, Gabby Mendoza said, I'm in Seattle waking up with some coffee and another Orosho haircut. Good Great. morning. I wish that was... Uh, I know, I need some coffee. coffee. Um, Seattle, is it raining in Seattle? <laughs> uh, Rula Fayad says, hi. Pauline Wozni says, thank you for creating a men's barbering program in your cosmetology school. Thank you very much. And um, John Hashem is asking, does your price include long hair blowouts or yep. are blowouts extra? Nope. nope. We have what we call guaranteed pricing. I, I'm not a big fan of a la carte. Maybe on our barber shop we may end up being more a la carte because that's kind of what the men are used to. Whether it's a line, a fade, a shave, an eyebrow, a beard, that might be a la carte. But in the, in the salon that we have right now, zero a la carte. Everything is guaranteed price. Great. And um, Jao Sor says, get right in front of your back, no right? worries. 
It says it's illegal to charge a different price whether you're male or female in Massachusetts, but some salons do it because they don't know the laws. Well, listen, uh -oh. here's the news. Here's the bad news. <laughs> what's legal and what's illegal? Yeah? And who's checking? It's illegal to drive a certain speed and everyone goes over the limit. <laughs> this is true. Yeah? That was, to, <laughs> that was told to me by somebody that works for the city. So, I think, yes, laws are laws made to develop and evolve and to kind of keep some consistency in policy. You have to work within the framework. Mm -hmm. uh, Corey Wallace is asking, how's that ankle doing, Nick? It is not good. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Christina Tranquilli said, hi, Nick. Thanks for doing a men's haircut today. You are very welcome, Christina. I hope to see you soon. And um, Gabby Mendoza said it is raining here in Seattle. Well, I am so good with my weather predictions. <laughs> Manchester weather <laughs> in Seattle. That's Manchester, England. Got a nice soft rain, a damp drizzle, good for the skin. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, yeah, so a little moisture in the air. <laughs> Uh, Letitia Lamb is asking day for expo. Maybe okay. we could talk about the, the dates. dates for expo, which is a show for everybody to check out Orojo. You will not be disappointed. It can be life changing because it's our type of hair show. So if you like my style, it's my type of show. So the dates are the 21st is the welcoming party. Of October, the, yeah. Of October. The welcoming party is called Women Making Waves in Our Industry. I'm just going to come around here for a second. Just going to do a little check. You want to check the length. See that he's working. Have a look at this nice handsome face of his. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to carry on. Don't let your sections get too angular. So what I mean is don't let them get too diagonal. Because if you do, the chances for you to start to build up too much weight. And women making waves in our industry, so on the Saturday night, the 21st of October, is what we call our welcoming cocktail party. It's in our Tribeca location, 13,000 square foot school facility. We have an amazing movie that a lady from California made. We're going to be sharing that, she's doing great things helping to share uh, success for women and helping women across the world to get into the hair business because hairdressing is such a great craft and career. We will also be unveiling some of our female hair heroes, hanging them on our heroes wall, which is part of our uh, school in Tribeca. There will be a, a, a female presentation so we're going to have some of our art team develop and create a great presentation and there'll be cocktails. On Sunday, we have some great guests presenting in the Greenwich Village. We've rented a venue in the Greenwich Village, a speakeasy. And uh, Vivian McKinder, Charlie Price, Gino Stampora, the Erosio Artistic Team, Maybe one or two other additions will happen. Uh, that's going to be our Sunday day inspiration. So short presentations throughout the day, casual, informal, relaxed, but very informative and inspirational. Sunday night, we're going to go back to the LPR, and that's our big celebration. We will have a, a, an Erosio creative presentation where we'll be releasing our trends and we'll have some fun, some revelry, and um, we will have a great time hanging out together, celebrating and meeting our fellow hairdressers. A little bit of disco dancing. <laughs> We've got the DJs. We may bring back Mr. Wallace, who knows? Ooh. And then on Monday, if you're a hairdresser, if you're a hairdresser uh, 
and I know most people will be, it'll be hands-on all day. You'll do a cut, you'll do a collar, you'll do a wave. A full day of hands-on and for the salon owners, and you can choose if you may be thinking about becoming a salon owner, for the salon owners, you'll be in our auditorium in Tribeca and we are gonna do a business symposium which we always call the success symposium because our symposiums are all about creating success in our industry. Nick, um, John Hashem says thank you. I'd love to study with you one day. Great, John. And um, Rula Fayad said hi from RNG Salon and Spa. Nice. Don't forget, if you're interested in getting connected with Erosio, join the Erosio program, the ambassador program. Talk a little bit about our ambassador program, Corinne. Well, we have, what, close to 400 salons now throughout North America. And um, they partner with us to carry our products. And um, we partner with them in education. So uh, it's kind of like an extended family that we have. And um, I think it's really cool because, you know, I get to see them at trade shows and classes and events. And um, it's just a really great way to connect with salons and hairdressers. I mean, they can be independent. They can be, you know, established salons. Um, they can still have other product lines, um, and there's just a different, a few different levels of ways that they can kind of play with our products. So, if you're interested, go to erosionyc.com. Go to the uh, professional uh, arena of the site, and uh, send us an email, and we'll be in touch, and we'll share with you how you can potentially get connected to the Erosio Ambassador Program. I'm now starting to transition into the back and I'll soon be transitioning as I am through the bottom, soon transitioning into the nape area. I'll try and speed up the shape a little bit in the interest of time. So now we're working through. Notice how I comb the hair down after each cut. Notice how I've not cut in the hair so short that it becomes transparent. Straight out from the head, fine teeth of the comb. Lena Wolf says hi. Um, she's a salon owner that's recently become an ambassador. And um, Leticia Lamb said, wow, I'm in for Expo. I can't wait. Never a dull moment with you. Thank you for all the work to great education. Uh, looking forward to it. I'm not a salon owner, but I would love to attend the business part. Well, when you sign up for your ticket, uh, select. And if you're interested right now, we have an early bird ticket price, $7.99. The show is actually 8.49. We had a pre-early pre bird price. The pre-early bird price was less. Uh, the, the early bird pricing now will change. The end of June will go to full price. Now, what's included? What's included will, will be drinks and refreshments on the Saturday night. What's included will be Sunday, night, Sunday day, you'll get some lunch some coffee, Sunday night, full bar included, and then uh, of course all your education, your mannequin, inspiration, we'll also have special offers with all of our tools, uh, we'll have SDX are going to be there, we're powered by Goldwells, if you're a Goldwell account, you know, it's a great thing for you to stay connected, get some color education. It's a great event. Everything's available on erosioexpo.com. Let's just have a look at David's hairline. David's got some curl to his hair. You'll see he's taking his hairline off here and here. It's a little long right through here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna comb this hair down, hold it tight with the comb, and I'm just gonna naturally just point cut into the hairline. That'll just tighten that up without making it too severe and too aggressive. A little bit of pointing. Trying to square it up, but still giving some softness to his hair. Remember, this is the unruly stuff. Do you trim the sides, or do you get this trimmed up in the salon? Um, I, sometimes I try to do it myself. Oh, okay. that's right. I figured as much. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> yeah? it you want to keep that softness. 
So, but you know, guys, they hate it. It's like, you know, we hate it. We get hair grows everywhere. And here's the bad news, Dave. The older you get, the more everywhere becomes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ren's laughing behind me. You're okay. How old are you? Uh, I just turned 26 a few uh, days ago. Ooh. A young whippersnapper. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm not going to do any cross-checking. I'll save it till the end. We've cut the sides. We've cut the back. We've cut the sides. Now it's time to look at the top. There will be some disconnection. Okay, there will be some disconnection. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna take a section across the top of the head. This is the top of the head right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the top of the head into the back. Central section, start in the middle. Come this hair, straight back. Look at the hand, look at the position, you want to get that so it's nice and square. Yes, you don't want it to come this way, it's going to get too heavy. So we're going to connect it right into the bottom. And I talk about the bottom, what we already pre-cut before. And then we're going to work from the center out. Nick, um, Milo Maximovic is Hello, asking, Milo. do you ever do razor over comb on men? I do a little bit Milo, but I tend to find that uh, a clipper over comb or scissor over comb is more proficient. That's my personal take. Mm -hmm. And uh, Elias Perez said, love me some Nick techniques. I hope to see you in San Antonio in oh, October. Oh, I am coming to San Antonio. And we cannot That's wait. Exciting. Notice how I've connected this into the back, over directing into the center. Let's see if we comb it out to the side. I thought so, the disconnection. So disconnected through the side, but connected in the back. I'll do the same on this side. And Nick, uh, where can our viewers find this technique? This technique's available on um, one of our men's classic haircutting DVDs. Our DVDs are available on our website, erosionyc.com. Uh, probably the better option would be for somebody to sign up for subscription. That's our online cert, that's our online education. You can watch it on your iPad or on your phone. It's a great thing. Thirty dollars a month gets you unli unlimited access to over a hundred different techniques. I would say fifty percent of those techniques have been done by myself, and the other remaining are done by my creative team. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do a thing here right now. Let's take this section. I'm gonna take a diagonal section to the recession. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna comb this back. And I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna connect the sides. Remember the disconnection? I'm gonna connect the sides right at the corner. this section and I'm going to over direct it back and connect it. So it's still going to be disconnected at the front, but it's going to be connected at the back. <laughs> Nick, uh, Anthony Hobbs, she said, hi Nick, I know it's out of subject, but I'm looking forward to see the lob haircut. Oh, it's coming <laughs> back. She's over there. She's bringing it back. We'll be bringing it back soon. And um, Arosha Cosmetology said we have a men's classic cutting class June 25th and 26th. And that class is going to be taught by a very, very amazing stylist. His name is Paul Merritt. He's one of our uh, editorial hairdressers. And he's an amazing hairdresser. He does a lot of fashion work. He works with Ralph Lauren. He does a lot of fashion work in the male arena. So if you're interested, come and spend two days with Paul at the Erosio Academy and really study men's hairdressing. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. That is going to be one heck of a class. Okay, so look at that section. Put your head down, dude. So look at that section. We took a triangle. We connected it in through the corners at the back and over-directed it so it doesn't connect in through the sides. Look, there's no connection. Now what we need to do, a few things. So let's speed up. We're going to now work from the back to the front. 
lift his hair straight up. There should be a little piece right there. There you go. Now, David said it gets a little thick and bulky right here. So the first thing we do is we put the length in. The second thing we do is we think about taking and, and, and removing some of the bulk. Notice how mm -hmm. when I pull this hair up, I make sure it's parallel to the ceiling it means it's keeping it square. Yeah? So if I'm like this, it's not, or like this, it's not. Keep it parallel to the ceiling. Always keep an eye on your client if your client's head moves. That's why the mirror is so important when it comes to cutting. The mirror gives you perspective. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the curl coming out. Notice how we're letting his hair dry as well. Yeah, we don't need to have his hair soaking wet. In fact, you know, it's good to actually allow the hair to dry off a little as you cut. We like to work from what we like to say is we like to work from wet to dry. Wet to dry is a really great way to work. You start to see the hair, the texture. When the hair's wet, it's just wet. And when the ankle's sore, the ankle's sore. <laughs> people that don't know. I'm working on a sprained ankle right now. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. But you sprained it. Uh, cleaning out the warehouse in the Erosia of Soho where we have our products. Uh, and I got on the top shelves because I didn't want anyone else to do it. You're ambitious, absolutely. I got on the top shelf. I needed a strong guy like you. Where were you last week? <laughs> Two weeks ago when I needed you. I don't know. I was, I was nowhere to be found. I Exactly. You, had to, you, had you know what take, I mean? You got the muscles. <laughs> yeah. You had to take control. I had to try my best to take control. With the muscles. Did you jump off the top shelf? <laughs> no. What did you do? I just uh, undo stress on my leg, on my on my cankles. Your cankles. <laughs> on my cankaroonies. Okay. I am. Before I go into a little bit of texturizing, I'm going to cross check the whole haircut. Have you got enough juice to unplug, young lady? Uh, let's try it. Try it. We'll go for it. Because I am going to cross-check over the head. Now remember there's a disconnection. Come around here. So remember there's a disconnection. What's a disconnection? A disconnection to any young hairdressers is where the hair does not connect to the underneath. So we've got the length on the top. We've connected it through the sides, but not at the front. So he has that play when he wants to be European. He can be, you know, Euro. When he wants to be banker man, he can be a slick banker man. When he wants to be the wolf of Wall Street. I like to cross check over the head. You put less stress on the, on the skin. And the outside of your fingers, you have less control, so it's a little softer. And you're just coming up through the back of the head. And look at the position of my eyes. I'm looking right down on the hair, doing a little bit of light cross-checking over the head. Oh. I'm going to come through this side. I'll hobble around. Because once you've done the cross-checking, then I'm going to do some texturizing, and then I'm going to do some detail work, and then we're going to run some products in his hair, and he's going to go and continue to be the wolf of Williamsburg. <laughs> it's like the wolf of Wall Street, and it's, it's a Only cooler. It's a little, it's a little hipper. Little hipper. Okay, so let's have a look at David's hair. He's got dense hair. If I razor this hair out, you know what the fear is? The fear is if I razor this hair out, what's my hydro this way? If I razor this hair out, what's going to happen? It's going to get too weak and wispy on the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a different technique. It's going to take out some of the bulk of Rooney. Yeah? I like to call it bulk of Rooney. Australian. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm not allowed to take my bulk of Rooney at, mate. No, no, Manchester. No, not Manchester. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manchester are not posh like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just like, get it cut off right now. 
So I'm taking a central section, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to just point cut. Fancy. We're just going to come straight up. Just going to point cut, same place. It's going to keep a little bit of bulk. It's going to take a little bit of bulk away. So just below my fingers, come it towards me. Take the next section. Come the hair straight up. Exactly the same thing. Straight up. Notice how I don't do it at the front. We want to keep all the length at the front. So this is just a little bit of debulking in the shape. Bang, 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 bang to the boogie. To the boogie, to the boogie to be. Three sections it will be. And we do the same on the opposite side. So not the front, just through here. Just takes out a little bit of the bulk Rooney. Done. So comb that away. The reason I wet the hair down with some hydro mist is because uh, it's easy to control wet hair. See, short little channels, chucked out. Channel, 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 channel. Comb it in towards you. Take the section, comb it down. Nice and clean. Lift the hair up. Channel, 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 channel. Channel, 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 channel. Final section. Chanel, 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 Chanel. <laughs> it's like channel only in French. <laughs> okay, now let's just do some detail work. Pass me is it pass me the pink trimmer. Yeah? <laughs> only the best for you. Fabulous <laughs> <laughs> pro and the pink trimmer. Very French too. Well you know real men <laughs> like pink. Okay, just watch, watch. Remember this technique? Hold up food please and lady. Watch this. You looking at the hair for me? It's right. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. <laughs> it doesn't flow in the air. We just say goodbye. So let's have a look. We don't want to create a hard line. But what we do want to do, tighten up the skin. Yeah, tighten up the skin. Even though he's a teeny bopper, we still need to tighten up the skin here because you want to make sure that you have a really nice smooth surface. This is the artistry too. I want to leave a little bit of softness. But cleanness, he wants to feel clean. You've got to make him feel as masculine as possible because I... <laughs> We're going to get no trimmers for the barber shop, don't you worry. Will they be red? No. They'll That's be no black, fun. Maybe. <laughs> we like it. Uh, Nick Sarah Lynn Moore said, hi Nick, I'm loving the cut. Hey Sarah Lynn, nice to see you. Brian Rich said, stellar cut. Scissors, that was it with this, with the, that was it. Let's just come in that for a little it. detail work right here. Lift this up. There it is. Chop, 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 chop. Just tighten it up just a little. Don't want it too wispy here. It'll look weird. <laughs> yeah, look weird. We don't want to look weird. We don't want to look weird. He's a man, baby. <laughs> Not too weird. He's a man, baby. <laughs> so keep him clean, but not too clean, yeah? Clean, not, not too clean. Somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. Yeah. <laughs> Same on this side. Back through here. So you can always pull that, that pull me back a little and just chip it. A little bit of detail work. This is your detail stuff. Just let's come through the sides, just make sure we where we like what we did here. Do a little bit of texturizing just here. Still keeping it disconnected. Nick, uh, Anthony Hobshi says you are in a good mood today. <laughs> I don't know. Josh Blaylock says, I love it. Oh, hello, Josh. And uh, Milo Maximovic said, it's a pleasure to watch a master. Oh, Milo, you're the master. Aw. 
Milo's the master. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to him. He's the master. Same thing over here. We do the same thing. We just have a little connection. And then I think it's time for us to put a little bit of uh, product in the hair. And we'll bring over our lovely Fiona. It's a his and hers day. Now, don't forget, what have we got here, Karim, today? We have promo codes. What are they? Red pants. The promo code red. <laughs> I like when you say it's very American when you say pants. Pants. I've got my red pants. Pants. Should trousers. I say pants? My red trousers. <laughs> 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 I got my red pants. Cool. What do you got on? Uh, I have white pants. Oh. All right, oh. David. Well, is it after Memorial Day? Yes, it is. Yes, You're okay. It is. He's allowed. Oh, okay. I know what happens in America. <laughs> Not my wife. This is what they say. I think rules are meant to be broken. Yes, and they usually are. They're, they're guidelines. <laughs> they're guide, guidelines. Guidelines. <laughs> Skylines, skylines. <laughs> a little bit of chipping in. Okay, again, I think today's styling cream day. We'll do a combo. Styling cream, aunt. Styling cream. Oh no, you know what? Let's go for our stronghold. Let's do a little bit of gel. Ooh. Gelée. A rosier hair gel. Yeah, it's good for the men. It's a great stronghold product, but we are going to mix it. We're gonna lay the hair gel on first, and then we're gonna put on some pomade. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna give it a little softness too. A lot of shine. It's a good classic men's technique right here. We call this a square graduation. Yeah, that's what I like to call this technique. Square through the sides, it's got some length through the top. It doesn't expand, it's a little bit graduated, but not a tight graduation. We want it to be soft. Don't fall over. When you see me do this, it's because my ankles, that's my now you get stick. Your stick, your walking stick. I want to show you. I feel really <laughs> sexy. <laughs> with my, with my grandma, grandpa. Oh, you heard that, laddie. It's good, no, it looks good. Yeah, it looks my, good. my grandmother had the same one. Yeah, oh, exactly. We're going to put a tennis ball. So, give it a tennis ball. I'm going to do a reverse mohawk right now and then. Oh, no. Grandma! <laughs> uh. You call me Granny. I didn't. I would never do that. On specifically. Uh. Ooh, ah. All right, you gotta catch him. Yeah? Can you catch? Sure. Yeah, Nick, uh, Milo said he wants to see red or rosa scissors. <laughs> um, and uh, Farrah Haley says, I love watching you. I quote you all the time to everyone. Hair is an accessory. Oh, look. Yes, oh, Cindy Booth oh, says it feels great. New, new, new. So oh, love it. Yeah, it's good. Okay, now let's take some of the air gel. Hey, let's this get is a our close stronghold up. gel. It's a clear gel. This is going to give the hair some hold and structure. It's a non-flaking gel, isn't it? Let's see it. Non-flaking. Nice. I worked with one of my great clients, Mr. Stephen Woods. You got it. You did if you could. <laughs> you did. See how strong it is. Right. So Dollar. strong. Dollar per daisy. Bring him in. Straight away, this is going to give him the control. <laughs> control. <laughs> I, want you, uh, yeah, I want you to take control. Okay, so we work that in. You're great. That's going to give him some hold and control in his hair. And now what we're going to do, just to add on top, is we're going to get some pomade. Right, let me show everybody it's the blue pomade. Notice, no hair in yeah. the pomade. I go into every salon, I always see hair, because hairdressers forget to put the lid on. They blow the hair dryer and they get hair in the product, and it's disgusting. <laughs> my staff know that that's not my, that's not my favorite. Period. You got it? Reminded. <laughs> You've been warned. Pomade. The nice thing about the pomade is it's super soft and it's high shine, water soluble. Put this on the top, it'll soften the gel but still give them the hold. But now it's going to give that Rico Suave sheet. Exactly. 
<laughs> for the Wolf of Williamsburg. It's the Wolf of Williamsburg. Ow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's going deep inside. That's me. Nick, Michael. we're getting some love. Um, Eliza Steven said. Uh, I love the way Nick cuts textured hair and particularly grateful that he did a men's cut. Yeah. Just remember that. I can definitely utilize this technique on some of my male clients. Right. Looking good. Now Nick, the plumbing, when a male like myself, right? <laughs> so, wants to be a little fancier, yeah. use the pomade, yeah. and then like uh, something more casual, what would, what would I use then? More casual? Yeah. You know what? Really I would soft. use a little bit of uh, texture paste or cream wax. Okay. Cream wax on wet hair mm -hmm. could be really good. Cream wax. A little okay. bit of cream wax. Pass me the cream wax. Cream wax is a white. Okay. Pro I'm just going to check it again. Is there hair? Yeah. Oh. All right. We're winning. Two for two. Two for two. <laughs> Cream wax is, is a nice soft. Okay. It's a more pliable, drier wax that doesn't have the same sheen. Right. And it will give the hair a little bit of softness. Okay. Dave, cool wax you are done. All now, right. Come on over, Fiona. You stay there, David. We'll bring it over, Fiona. Okay. We'll wrap it up. I'm going to need. Oh, here she is. Here yes. Great. Let's have a look. So pretty. All right, now, give me my Gwen. It's a popular oh, okay. one. Okay, this is a Rojo American Way Glint. It's our brand new texture line. Check it out. It's off. I think this is a way to texture shine spray. Just adds. Look at the texture. Yeah. Unplug, Karim. We've got two minutes left. You're okay. You can go away from the juice. Go away from the jamba. Nick, this is in uh, our online promo, yeah? At Arojo NYC. Online promo. Spend $80 on Arojo product on the original site, Arojo NYC, and you'll get a free glint. It's nice texture. Yeah. So Very if you're nice. thinking on buying stuff. So there's two options. You can go to Arojo Pro, get a discount using the prep the code. The code is red pants. <laughs> or you can go to Arojo NYC. And uh, there's no code, but if you spend eighty dollars, you can buy some of the same, if not all the same stuff. Not all of it, but most of it, and you will get the uh, the free glint. So we really bounced up the texture, the wave in the hair. Looks awesome. Wow. Did you have fun? I had a blast. It was good. <laughs> you like it? Mm. You were quite the craftsman, sir. Aww. Uh, um, <laughs> we'll be back next Thursday, but if you're in Fort Lauderdale this weekend, we'll be there for the Millennium Experience. We have a great class this weekend, Scissor Then Razor. If you're interested, there's still some spots available. Scissor Then Razor is going to be taught by Carmel and Lena. Great two to three day class. And then don't forget, we have our men's class coming up. We have our American Wave certification in Richmond and here in New York coming up. Check out all of our education. Thanks for tuning us on our special double header of Brooklyn Live. Goodbye to Corinne, goodbye to Jennifer, goodbye to Fiona, and the, the wolf of Williamsburg. There he is. <laughs> Later.